Diane Graham, the mother of an autistic boy, says that her son's future has been jeopardized by the ongoing labor strife in our schools. My son Atreyu is eight years old. He's got autism. He's on the severe end of the autism spectrum, so he has a lot of um, needs to be met. Um, he's also ADHD, which is attention deficit hyper disorder, so he does have a dual diagnosis. So there's a little bit more, you know, to be done with him. Um, he's been doing great in school, um, right up until this year, things seem to have changed. We don't know if it's the environment in the school, if it's a tree personally, or, you know, what it could be. But there was a lot of issues, so we, through talking with the principal, we decided that we would have somebody come in and do a psych workup on Atreyu to find out where his needs are now because the last one that was done on him was three years previous. So a lot of things had changed. A meeting with support staff that was to discuss the future of her son was cancelled after Graham says the union intervened ordering the workers not to participate. We were given this date of December 11th and then the day before December 11th they called me and told me that it was going to be cancelled. So the lady was very abrupt with me, I let her go, and I called back the principal of the school and asked him why. That's when I was told that the, um, the labor union had informed the support staff not to attend the meeting. Atreyu is autistic, but also has attention deficit disorder. Talking like this isn't an extracurricular activity, this is his life. He's not getting nothing accomplished in school. He's actually on half days right now, which was my decision because the full DAs just seem to be too much for everybody. Um, so I put him on half days myself and I just don't see how we're progressing anywhere. And I feel very insulted as a parent that they're on the news saying that they're not doing nothing with special ed, that they're still doing everything. When I have proof here that they did cancel because they're their labor um, problems. It's affecting a trade you. He's going to lose a whole year. He's a child who can't afford to lo you lose a whole year. So if this doesn't get worked out and everything, are they never going to attend the meetings? And then when I was questioning what was going on and everything, I was told by somebody else who said that also the next meeting, even if the support staff was forced to attend the next meeting, that the union had advised the teachers not to attend. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Sean Jeffords.